Good evening, myself and Burst. It is Thursday, July the 5th of July 2012. That's the year it is. And today I have nothing at all interesting to contribute to the internet. I got home from work, um, and that was what I spent my day on. So that's not really vloggable. How about that? I'm home alone so I don't pack up shit so the iron's just kind of left there. Just realised how dark it was. I'm gonna turn on every light in the house! Um, how about we turn on this one? Not that did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. How about this one? Oop. That's a good light. right -o. Let's see what we have in the pantry in store for me today. Um, here we go. Lift off. I have a manhole. I didn't know that. Holy shit. I've lived in this house for what, like 10 years? And I've, de I've never seen that. Shitty dicks. Okay, so I finally got Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I've been meaning to get it for a fair while. And it would be an understatement to say that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so let's just see. Everything's different. Um... I'm used to using Vegas Pro, that's reasonably simple. This is not, this is rather advanced compared to what I'm used to. Um, alright, so I, I happen, oh god no, that's completely wrong. I was trying to make a 2.35 to 1 image. Um, but that kind of looks more like a 20,000 million to 1 image. So let's try that again. So instead of presets that someone like me can understand, they have all these, um, these, these other sequence prefix, pre, 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 presets. Um, and DVC Pro HD 720p24 is the closest one that I am finding because I think it is 16 to 9 ratio and um, it's 24 frames per second progressive. So, yep, that looks right, the aspect ratio. Um, okay, how about anything else? How do I do stuff? Um, Alright, okay, there's the media browser. Let's see, how do I, how do I get stuff? Okay, so I've managed to drag some old footage into the timeline. That's somewhat useful. I don't think it has any audio. Um, let's press play. Oh shit, do you need to pre-render? No, it does have. It does have audio. It does appear to be that it's running so many things that I'll have to pre-render before um, previewing anything. So that's rather helpful. Um, I might need to... Actually, uh, up here, I've got a bunch of RAM. I've got... Let's see, I've got 3 gig of RAM here that I need to install into that, so then all in all I'll have 7 gig of RAM. I also need to completely reformat it. I probably shouldn't have installed something that I've been trying to get for years before I reformat my computer, because that doesn't really, doesn't make a lot of sense. But I thought, uh, oh, okay, okay, how about I just copy the um, install files onto my external hard drive. Boom, problem solved. I'm a master of everything. But, uh, except for this, um... So let's let's sort something out here. Uh what the hell? Um oh so you can have several projects open at once. That's nice. You can click this. That happened. Oh I don't know. So I just grabbed this footage with my DSLR. I just set up my lighting rig and my green screen. And then that was all of the footage that I captured. Um that was just for a green screen test with Premiere. It's rather terrifying, to be honest, um, because, well, look at my face, it's ridiculous. Um, it works pretty well, except for the fact that I screwed up at such a rate that, um, I actually needed two keys, one with a darker shade and one with a lighter shade, so, but the, it turned out reasonably well, it, I think. I need practice, but that's okay. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I got tired of screwing around with, with Premiere, um, it just frustrated me, so I decided to try something new with my camera. Um, there's this thing called exposure on DSLRs, for those who don't know that exists. Um, basically, it's how long the shutter in the camera is open for. So if you set the shutter for 25 seconds and put it outside in the dark, in pitch black, it will, um... The, the shutter will stay open for 25 seconds, and then you'll see it'll be like daylight. You'll see everything. It's amazing. Check this out. Okay, so out here I've got my camera 
set up just down here. There's a car down there. You can't see it because it's too dark. It's it's currently one o'clock in the morning, by the way. Um, so on the camera, you can see 25 seconds um, on f5.6 ISO 3200, and you need to just press the shutter, and that's when the shutter opens. And now we just need to wait 25 seconds. And now the shutter has opened, and look at that. That's what the photo is. This is what it detected at one o'clock in the morning. How cool is that? How it picked up that, and this is what it came out with. And that, that shadow, you might be thinking, this is fake, because there's a shadow there from the sun. No, it's a full moon, and that's why it's like that. Um, there wouldn't be a shadow otherwise, but that is so cool. I'm pretty sure I just took the coolest photo I've ever done. Okay, so, so I just took a photo of the sky, right, the night sky, and it kind of detected... It looks like it's daylight, but you can see all the stars in the sky. How sweet is that? I love that. Amazing.